Coach will open with a comment. Raise your hand. Keep them up for me for a second. Any more questions? How are we doing today? Yeah. I think that uh, as an organization, the team, uh, coaches and players included, uh, we're all excited about the opportunity that we have for the upcoming season. Uh, obviously, players do a lot of work, whether it's off-season program, spring practice, summer conditioning, with this idea in mind, and um, every player makes a decision relative to the level of commitment that they have to a standard of excellence uh, in terms of the discipline, toughness, preparation, commitment to work, uh, to do the things they need to do to improve uh, so they can create the kind of identity for themselves uh, that they'd like to create, and they can also contribute to the identity of the team and at the end of the day, uh, it's all about, you know, how did you score? Uh, just like golf, you know, big golf tournament yesterday, how did you score? Uh, that, that's what it's all about. But in football, the thing that's different is, A, how did I play, uh, which is really how did you score, and then B, how does the guy playing beside you play? Uh, because it's hard to have success if everybody do, doesn't do their job correctly, and uh, that's something that we have to prove as a team. And I can sit and speculate a hundred different ways on where our team is, but you never know where your team is in all these areas uh, until you actually go out and play. Uh, and we have an opportunity to play uh, a team that at Duke has uh, had a very successful season last year with eight wins. David Cutcliffe, uh, in my opinion, is one of the best coaches in the country. Uh, having competed against him for years when he was at Ole Miss, and also since we've been here, we played against him at Duke. Uh, they have a much, much better team. They've got 15 returning starters this year, eight on defense, four on offense. Uh, their offense is very efficient and effective, and obviously they had a great quarterback last year, but the quarterback they have this year actually started in two games and played extremely well last year. So uh, there's lots of challenges uh, that they present as a team. <coughs> Uh, that's certainly why we're practicing and what we're working to try to get our players to be uh, able to adjust and adapt to and um, go out and play fast and effectively in terms of you know what we want to execute and what we want to do. So that doesn't matter whether it's special teams, offense, defense, whatever part of the game that uh, is out there, that's how we want to play. And this is an opportunity for us to establish an identity as a team. Uh, we always you know, kind of take pride in our team's playing in the class here. Um, and that starts with the kind of discipline that you play with. And uh, that's something that we want to certainly continue to always establish with our players so that um, they represent themselves, um, the program, the university in a first class way. Okay, good. We'll start with Ryan with Charlie. Just how much has Will Riker impressed you as a true freshman, both the kicker and punter? He's done a nice job. Uh, he's been very consistent in his. Uh, performance in, in both areas. I think the competition that we have in, in both punting and uh, kicking have probably helped everybody get better. Uh, and it's good to have the situation that I think we have right now. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how he responds in the game when he gets an opportunity. Back on the left side with Michael. There are several spots in the offensive line that have a slash on for starters. Is that something that's going to be determined this week? Is it still open competition with all those guys? Well, um, if we have a slash there, I mean, that means that we feel both guys are very much in competition for the position, and both guys have an opportunity to play at that position, and we will make a determination at some point in time as to who actually starts the game. Uh, but that's not something that we're comfortable saying right now. Go in the middle of James. Coach Cutcliffe has a long history of getting guys in the NFL and uh, kind of improving teams' offenses once he gets there. What is it about him that um, is so successful at, at developing quarterbacks? Well, I've always thought that he's one of the best quarterback coaches in the country. And obviously his track record has proven that. I think he has that reputation, so I think a lot of players are interested in playing for him, and he's done a, a fabulous job of developing those players. So, uh, But I also think that their system and scheme on offense is so well-conceived. And, um, 
you know, that, that it also gives the players an opportunity at all positions on offense to have a chance to be successful. But uh, it makes the quarterback's efficiency um, always have uh, the consistency that everyone always looks for in a quarterback because the system uh, allows them to make quick decisions and get the ball in their hands and it's very sound and um, they're very well coached in being able to do that. And I think all those things contribute to the success of the quarterback as well as their offense. Coach back up to Cecil. Coach, could you update us on the injuries going into the first game and uh, the long-term guys that have just been waiting as to come to practice? Yeah, Justin has a, a foot injury that is not a long-term injury. He's kind of day-to-day. -day. I would say he's probably questionable for this particular game. Um, so we just have to wait and see how he responds and how he goes from there. But we we expect everybody, Hunter Brandon, is still not able to participate. Uh, Deontay Brown, who was suspended for four games, will be able to participate probably in the next couple days. Uh, I don't think there's anybody else I mean, you guys know the guys that are out other than that. So um, everybody else we expect to be able to practice and see how they respond and develop through the course of the week if they are coming off injuries. Around the left, Brian. Obviously, Christian Harris is uh, listed as the starter. What impressed you about him to be able to be elevated to that position already? Well, he's a very aggressive player. Sometimes you have to make decisions with young players, even though they may not have a total understanding of doing everything exactly like you'd like for them to do it. Uh, their ability to make plays uh, and their sort of want to in terms of learning how to do it and developing is going to allow them to make the improvement that they need to make to be the most consistent player. And, um, we just felt like after two scrimmages, the way he played, that uh, he was the guy that would give us the best chance long term to develop at that position. We still like some other guys. There is still competition at the position, and we'll continue to evaluate that. A couple more here. We'll start with John. What are some of the benefits to playing A, these neutral side games, but B, you're having your players know that they've got to open up at the Power Five team? Well, I think that. Um, First of all, one of the things that we're going to play an SEC game on the road early in the season, and I think that at least for a lot of young players, this is an opportunity, even though it isn't necessarily a road game, it prepares them to be able to play on the road. Uh, because you're going to travel, uh, you've got to focus, you're in a different place, playing in a new stadium. So all the the external factors that can sort of affect your ability to focus on what you need to be doing, uh, this is an experience to do that. So I always thought that was you know, very beneficial. I think it's great from a program exposure standpoint. Uh, we've had a lot of games in Atlanta, we've had some in Dallas, we've had some other you know, games in other places that have, has given the program a lot of exposure, uh, which I think is really important. I think when you play a good opponent early on, uh, the whole focus in the off-season, um, spring practice, fall camp is always a little better because the players feel they're going to be challenged in the first game, and that's something that uh, I think helps their competitive spirit throughout uh, their preparation time. Coach, we're up for Tony. What have you seen from some of the younger defensive backs, uh, the freshmen that came in this year? You know, we're, we're, we, we think all those guys have the potential to be really good players. Uh, I think Jordan Battle uh, has sort of played really well and is probably going to um, have a chance to you know, play on some special teams. Marco Hellams is a guy that I think is going to contribute to the depth and safety as well. Um, you know, a couple of young guys that fighting for you know backup cornerback role positions. There's still a lot of competition there. I don't think anybody's really ever sort of stood out, even though we like their ability. Um, we're just going to keep 
working with them and hope that you know they can mature and develop into guys that you can depend on in that position. So we're, not, we're, we're I guess to sum it up, we're, we're not disappointed uh, in anyone. Uh, we're encouraged by the ability that all these players have. We're not totally satisfied with um, how they can and we expect them to develop in the future so that they can contribute to the depth of our team. Uh, and we do think that some of those guys can contribute on special teams. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.